Hey everyone. Oh, I don't think I did share the location. Did I? Maybe not the worst thing in the world, huh? <laughs> Everything for a reason. That's right. Hi everybody, I'm Jimmy. I'm Kate. And uh I hope you like my shirt. And Kate's shirt. I like he looks very hot at I don't even have muscles anymore. I used to. I really used to. I know, but it's still that solid. Yeah, but that's at the core that's the core of it. It used to but, be puffy and nice and big. But, like, well not that so big. <laughs> so are you though. You're adorable, but now you're you're stuck in the bags. No one's gonna <laughs> see it. No one's gonna see it. Hi everybody. So we just had a really long video. I had a really long video on YouTube just working through the rest of my issues and uh Plastering them on the internet in self-defense, just in case I'm ever actually silenced by people. Um, just that everyone knows my truth, my way. Um, I can move on my life. I don't think I have anything else to come up with. I think I'm good. Um, so that's good. If I do, it doesn't have to do, more than likely, it will not have to do with anyone in this area or, like, that part of my past. It may, if I'm not left alone. If I'm left alone, then uh, yeah, not not forever, you know. Like I, I, but for right now, it's just self-defense, trying to create an insurance plan for myself that I'm left alone. I may have done the exact opposite thing; may have had the exact opposite effect. I'm hoping it didn't, um, but I'm doing the only thing I know I can do to keep myself safe right now. Um, even if it does make me like a super big jerk, um, I'd rather be a super big jerk and know that I'm safe uh, and entertain that bit of paranoia I have left then if it's paranoia, I hope so, right? Um, but it's not worth the risk if it's not. If, I, if it's not. So for me, uh, I see a lot of patterns and similarities between uh, the behavior of, you know, Kate's parents in the past and, uh, you know, relating a lot of similarities of what I went through when I was younger. So I was really afraid of a repeat uh, where we're at of what happened with her family. And, you know, What's gonna? I, I know it's kind of like I'm pressing a button, pressing buttons, and, I, and that's not fair and it's rude or whatever. But at this point, I am paranoid and terrified uh, because of everything that's happened in our past, and maybe I should have done what I did. And I would say I'm sorry if it was the wrong thing. But at the same time, I am happy that my truth is out there, and um, you know my side of the story is out there, and then we can hopefully just move on with our lives. And then that's that's it. Just just be left alone because that's all you know. We really want is to you know have the freedom to live our way. That's it. Um, and I do I do definitely get like angry or defensive or what have you when people threaten my livelihood or threaten my way of life. And that is a completely normal way to be. That's how everyone is, like all of us, right? So like if someone threatens your livelihood and the way that you live and who you are. Um, and it's not just their words. Like, people can say one thing, but when people are genuinely trying to step over inappropriate boundaries to tell you how to live, uh, you know, it's, it's an imposition on your rights. And when, uh, you know, I'm in a position where I'm very much being framed, you know, and so it's hard. Uh, I, I, only, I only have one way to really defend myself right now, and that's with my voice. Um, and I shouldn't have to defend myself at all. And I, maybe I don't have to. It's possible I'm finding out I don't have to anymore. But for the past five years, or pretty much for my whole life, I have I really have had to defend myself, guys. And so I'm finally realizing, okay, now I'm, I'm 25. I'm taking control of my own life. I, we do have an income, maybe not here on Periscope, but we do on YouTube. And it's coming in about two months. We'll have a legitimate income. Um, and I mean, the, the money's already there. It's just it takes two billing cycles for the money to come through and for that uh, generation. So God willing, this pans out, and then we're good. Um, just have to stay consistent and not piss off more people again. And even though my last video probably did that again, but I'm really doing my best to calm down and get through my past and get over it. And like, get over it. Like, I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I know I am, guys. I know it. I've been very unheard, okay? That's right. We're moving forward. But, I'm not, but I know I sound like I'm looking for sympathy. I'm not. I'm just letting you guys know why I did it. I'm letting you know why I did it. Whatever other agendas you think I have, if they were agendas, they were side agendas. The main agenda 
The main agenda was that you heard my voice, that you knew my side of the story. Everything else was a convenient benefit that came along with the main facet of hear my voice. And I'm finally realizing that I've been heard the whole time by most people. And if I would have just said yes to them and no to my family, everything would be okay right now. Thank you for hearing me from the beginning. I'm sorry that it took me this long to accept that. All the way to the point where I had to reject you and push you away, because that is a habit and an illness that I have. Yes. It's pushing everybody away. I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm learning to get better. And hi. Hi. So, I still do it to the people I love, because I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm used to the darkness. Look at you, you're light, I'm dark. Uh, oh, look at that. Funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> hmm, what are you talking about? I don't even know anymore. Who cares? Nobody else does. So Thank you. I do like my smile. Thank you. I taught her that. <laughs> Good job. Good on you. Beautiful smile. She's learning to be proud of herself. Yes. Sometimes they, there come time, times will come in life when nobody else is, including me. Yeah. You gotta be proud of yourself because there's gonna be times when nobody else is. So. Taught her how to like her smile. No, not I always liked my no, not always like my smile, but um, to have confidence in myself no matter what is something that. I I, I I'll tell you what I I'm here's uh, can I use my voice? It's my voice. I'll t yeah. Because what I taught you was to be able to look and say I like my smile. That is something you were not like in the past. Yeah. And the times that you did say it didn't mean it. Mm -hmm. I helped. Yeah. That's why I did. I helped. I'm not taking credit for her smile or like her human person. I say I taught her one little thing. I just, I, you know, self confidence. Like she has the self confidence. It's just she wasn't really taught how to use it in a way where she could defend herself um, and fend off people who might try to bring her down. So that's just for Facebook. I have it on auto post. We're good. That's so brave. She's very brave. She is very brave being on here right now. I have no idea. You're going a positive thing. Yes. I can help you. That's great. Well, thank God I don't need help. <laughs> Not anymore. Gotten enough help. Finally helping myself. <sighs> they are both brave. And the only reason I want to reject your compliment. It's just because I got problems. <laughs> it's my past. It's so cute that you switched shirts. Thank you. Thank you. We're trying to, we're just trying to make a point, you know, is that our identities and our gender identity, especially is based on who we identify as, as opposed to what we wear. Um, that is something that was prevalent even in medi medieval culture is, um, what did you tell me? Men wore heels. Men yeah. in the military too. Or what was you said? Gentry. Like the upper class. The upper class. Upper class men in the Middle Ages wore heels. Like, there's a lot of different things. I'm sorry. What? From last video, I'm in rant mode. Ah. She learned how to like her smile, and you supported her. That's one piece of it. The smile is genuine! Shut up! I don't like you. You don't piss me off, that's an easy way. And I'll go at it live. You think I won't I won't go at it for myself, but I'll go at it for Kate. I'm over it. I'm over my problems. You come at Kate, you better watch out. Trust me. You're gonna be in danger. Well, you're not gonna be in physical danger, but I will embarrass you. Don't play that game with me, all right? My haters taught me how to play it well. What gender do you identify as? I'm heterosexual. Me so. I'm female. That's what I'm a male heterosexual. Let me say that, right? Because I could identify as a female heterosexual, you might say. Um, we're, we're not in a position where we support nor deny others who identify in their own fashion. We're 
simply making our identities known and doing it in a way that is sensitive to those who identify differently. Even if we don't understand, uh, we do not seek to offend, defend, but rather to stand with everyone as much as we can. No low contendere. Funny enough, right? Katie, you got to learn something important from everybody. Yeah. So when do you get to watch Kate cut your hair again? Probably not for a really long time, but I'm even on screen. Never, John, because the next time we get a haircut, it'll cost 60 to $70, okay? And I'll make sure I record it for you and send it to your inbox because you're a prick. I love you, but you're kind of a dick to me. But I was a dick to you first, and I apologize. <laughs> Angel says, oh, wow, and wigs. Uh, people, you don't need help. Pro prove you don't. I don't prove nothing to you. Who are you? I don't know you. Out of my house. Go. I don't know you. Jimmy, you seem gender fluid. I bet I do. I bet I do. Because I'm a little confused on my roles in life. Okay? I have no sexual um, attraction to anyone else but, you know, females. Uh, but at the same time, I definitely have a lot of feminine qualities. I agree with that. Um, I'm regaining my masculinity. And I'm making an effort to, like, exemplify that masculinity and gain it back for myself because I want to have social identity as a male. Um, but my, my idol in life very much growing up was Jesus, was Jesus of Nazareth, who, if anybody doesn't know, was a very feminine male. And so there are a lot of qualities that I exemplify that come out female. But that's not who I really am. So I was just trying to be someone else uh, because that's what I was raised to do. Um... Hey, kids. What's up, Vicky? Welcome on. Long time no see, Vicky. Um, the smile is genuine. Even I know that. <laughs> Thank you, John. Don't mess with Kate. That's right, Brad. Trust me, you mess with Kate. I'm not the only one coming after you. My haters and the fans will all come after you. All right? In society right now, the woman is definitely worshipped. You need to pay attention to social patterns. <laughs> you come after a woman, you're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> That's society. And I say so. Everybody agrees on that one. Uh, leave her alone. She's a beautiful person. Don't leave her alone. She deserves to be with people. Yes. Let us, let us support her individuality as a human being. Let's all do that together. And we don't take the focus off of my mistakes. That's not what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. That they, they happen. And I'm the one reminding you. You're welcome. Just so people realize I'm not running away from them. We're both moving on together. All right. Gender and sexuality are two different things. Well, I'll have to learn. I'll have to learn. These are things that neither Kate nor I is very educated on. And we haven't really had the time to, to learn about it yet. We're still trying to figure out our own bodies and, you know, how to, how to be healthy. So our minds and our bodies. We are not Mormons. No, we are, we're not religious. That was harsh, but I love you too. All right, John, don't play the victim. You ain't no victim. Uh, much feminine. I'm working on it. Not that that's a problem. It's just who I believe I am. I believe myself to be a rather masculine guy deep down. Uh, my masculinity has been very suppressed throughout my life. And I think for part, of, part of for me is I didn't realize I think so. just the other day. It was actually like just last night you said about how like you asked back masculine yeah yes yeah. like you raise the boys I, I, I was raising yeah. girls like i i'm very i am and very girly and i like dresses and all that stuff but i didn't wear them because it, for religious reasons and this and that whatnot i just or i didn't think they were practical or whatever even though i really wanted to wear them i just didn't and then you bought into my hyper practicality <laughs> That's, you know, it, it, that's, it, there's a way where it goes the other half to me too, but I don't want to embarrass Kate. We're leaving that be. Um, like I said, we all grow in our own time, but yeah, is she kind of passed on what she had with her. I'm doing it anyway. All right. Moving on. Moving on. I love you. I love you too. All right. We got, are you Kate's mentor or partner or both? Oh. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's both. For a little bit. In time. <laughs> but, uh, it is it is me trying to not be her mentor. Yes. I'm just like, no. But then she's like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, crap. Sometimes it's not always even that I sit. Like, sometimes it's unintentional mentorship. Like, I don't think I need mentoring. And then he'll be like, Caitlin, did you, did you not learn this? And I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, this is what you do. This is common sense. And I'm like, 
I don't always say it that way. When I'm in a really bad mood, I don't. Oh, I don't mean to. What? I don't mean to say it like you're about per- like. Oh, honestly, okay. Like, it's okay. okay. It's okay. I'm unoffended. I'm over okay. it. I'll get. I'm over it. But like he doesn't. They can like, think that like, they want. We make money either way. And he's very. He's very good with me. But like, just he'll be like, "Did you not learn this?" And I'll but be like, "It also goes both ways, <laughs> guys. You got to realize." When I was her age, I looked as young as she does, too. I acted as young as she does, too. I thought that I was, like, dumb and young and blah, 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 because I believed everyone else. You do not recognize your level of intelligence. Maybe some of you do. I want you to realize, if I seem like I'm demeaning her level of intelligence, it is based on my brainwash. It is based on what I've been grown and raised on, okay? And so I'm learning how to treat her as an equal. Um, because there's even some ways that I do it, that I do it wrong, and I don't even realize I'm doing it. And I'm learning to accept the accusations and say, okay, entertain them at least, to say, okay, well, and, and fill me in. Fill me in. Because I'm starting to see my controlling behavior. I'm starting to see those different things. And the, I, I didn't see them before, but you got to believe that I didn't see them. And I'm also asking to realize that those behaviors came from my predecessors and also a hell of a lot of psychological manipulation and pressure that I was under. And now that I've removed most of that pressure, as in pretty much all of it, I'm coming back down to reality. You know, I'm coming out of the clouds. And what did I gain from it is the removal from the cult of worshiping a woman, the cult of the religion, the cult of like just so many different things within my life that, you know, I was worshiping quote unquote. And I mean, everybody has their own thing. And I know I probably just offended a whole lot of people. Guys, right now I'm finally standing somewhere where I feel safe. That's important to me, and, I, and I'm sorry if I'm hurting your feelings. Just just know that I know you guys cared about me from the start. I know you did. And if I'm offending you with my words, I apologize. I'm very excited and happy that, you know, I'm moving forward for my own life. So, yeah. And, Caitlin, what I was going to say is mentorship happens both ways. That was my point in saying that she seems so young and whatever. You guys, I'm letting you know there's a lot of things she teaches me when we're not on screen. It's very humbling. Very, very humbling. Um, but yeah, she teaches me a lot too. I don't talk about it because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you know, I don't have that humility. She has the humility to say on screen when I'm teaching her. Well, it's also, I think, probably easier because I'm younger. <coughs> so it's it probably it's easier for me because I'm younger than you to learn, to, to admit that I'm learning things from you probably easier and the things it's so embarrassing for me because the things that she's teaching me are common sense things and they're also things that when my family was trying to raise me they were trying to teach me those things but i was so focused on all even till now just so focused on all the trauma i experienced instead of realizing what they had taught me and caitlin is reminding me of the things that they tried to teach me that i didn't learn and there's certain things that help teach it's like reteaching me as well that like I know my parents tried to teach me but I didn't listen for X, Y, or Z reason. So I can relate on that. Because she's going through trauma. And you'll you'll get there on your own. You just don't want to embarrass your family. And some people embarrass themselves and you this is something you will learn from me, is that you cannot apologize for who you are. And things that other people have done to you, they've done it to, to you, and you don't you don't say them to hurt them. Yeah, it's just whenever you curb your words to protect someone's crime against you, it doesn't actually help us move on. I mean, better not to say it at all, right? Sometimes, sometimes better not to say it at all and just move on. But if it comes out, the whole thing's got to come out. Because if it doesn't, then it's concealing, okay. right? And we end up politicians. Yeah, I mean, when I see, look at me. I'm not. I'm not wronging you. No one is judging you right now. Not even me. I'm not controlling your narrative. I'm teaching a lesson in life. Feel free to teach me in return. If you do, I won't be embarrassed. Okay. Well, in this moment, if I felt that it was appropriate to... Or appropriate, relevant to say something about... Or my family is and you didn't, you didn't, not relevant. Yeah. You didn't say it because it's not relevant. Yeah, to a degree. Yeah. Because you have those healthy boundaries. And you're, you're in social cognition and recognition of when it's well and when it's not. 
I don't, the most part? That's right. Yeah, I don't I have it. For the most part. You're right. Thank you for teaching me that. I am humble, guys. I'm saying I genuinely don't see it. People don't get that. I'm asking you to see that I genuinely did not see what I did wrong there. That I was teaching her the wrong thing. Or like I taught her something and she'll take it with a grain of salt, you know, and, and use it when it's good. I genuinely didn't see what I just did there. I didn't, I didn't see the wisdom in what she was doing because I'm so used to being the one that's right, 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 or at least trying to be right. I didn't see it. You know, so Thank pretty. you. You know, what? so pretty when you have your head like this and I look at your eyes. That look, just a tad green. Did I? Look at you distracting me with positivity. I love you. You know how to win my heart. That makes me <laughs> cautious of you, ironically. That's the opposite <laughs> effect. I'm like, suspicious. Mm -mm, suspicious. <laughs> and people wonder why I'm not masculine. Okay. Because every one of my mentors in life has been a woman. I just want one decent, non-criminal man. All right? Every male model I've had in my life, except for my pop, who was old when I met him, have been criminals. Can I have one positive male mentor in my life who has not committed some kind of major crime, please? One. And you guys wonder why I'm so feminine, because I can't find a man patient enough to teach me. Seriously. And if I find them, they're usually so slow and behind me, which makes me sound arrogant and prideful. I'm just looking. You're, you're in the I need a Bill Gates in my life, okay? <laughs> I need a Bill Gates. I thought I wanted to be Tyler Pez or Gary Vee or, you know, I don't want to be Elon Musk. I don't want to be Warren Buffett. I want a Bill Gates in my life. He's got a good family. He raises his family. He does, he does uh, charity. Like, that's a well-rounded man. You know, he invented Microsoft. I want a Bill Gates in my life is what I want. I used to think I wanted, you know, the marketer. Like, no, they were my life. I'm, I'm done. I'm good. I learned that piece of it. I'm, I want a Bill Gates. I want the other half. I want the family half. Because I didn't... I wanted a Kate in my life far before I wanted any of that. And because I, I couldn't find love, I said, okay, well, I'll settle for money. So <laughs> the tide's turning. Now I realize we can have both. Okay. You fixed the buttons on the shirt? No, I just wrapped it around me like a kimono. Well, we all make mistakes. It's how we learn. Yes, Angel. And to everyone who sees my narcissistic, selfish behavior, that everything's about me, 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 yes, you are right. <laughs> I am working on it. Yes. I don't always see what I'm doing it. <laughs> Calling yourself a day means you all right, we change things around. Catch up. We chilled on the day piece of it. Sometimes it applies, sometimes it doesn't. Uh this person is not trying to teach us right now. They're just trying to one up me. Why is everyone, oh, stop competing with me. You will lose. And I'm uninterested. I'm not a competitor. That's why I'm a winner. If there's any lesson that I will shove down your throat that you don't want to learn, is that competition leaves everyone losing. Yeah. It does. Whenever competition for me has always left me very angry, jealous, and upset, which oh. is why I did not want to be in sports as a kid. Um, well, because this is for fun, though. I'm really sorry. I just don't want. Okay. I'm very controlling. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. My whole life got controlled by everyone else, so that's why I'm so controlling. Is because I'm trying to retake my narrative. It's true. <sighs> it's just the defense. It's the defense. I have no control over my own life right now, or at least it feels as such. And nobody believes me, except for Kate, yeah. and maybe some other people. Tell me to go get a job in my own family. They go, 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 just go get a job. Have you not Googled me? Like, how far of a denial do we need to go with? Google me. I ain't going to be able to get a job. And if I do, it won't last for a couple of weeks. We've been having that conversation for years. But people keep banging their heads against the wall saying I'm the one doing it. No. Oh my God, I could, like, I can't. I'm trapped in this box. Hi, guys. 
You have me forever. Good job. Congratulations. That Faraday cage worked out pretty well. <laughs> oh, good kid. Yeah, so that's why I didn't want to be in sports as a kid because whenever I got in the competition, um, I ended up, whether I won or I lost, I always ended up <coughs> so great. Um, because if I won, then I would feel like proud of myself, and then somebody would humble me, and I didn't like that. And then, or if I lost, then I felt crappy about myself, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to be in competition at all. And then, um, as I got older, I got into one sport, which was golf, and I sucked majorly at it. So I didn't even feel like it was competition at all. So it was just kind of like, hey, I'm hitting a golf ball, yay! <laughs> I went to one match, one match in two years, one match. And I don't even think my score counted for the overall hand, so it didn't really matter. <laughs> and then, um, so like, that was basically just me, one girl on an entirely male golf team, just being like, da 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 da. Anyway, um, <laughs> then there. <laughs> I mean, it was, yeah, I was a junior, and they put me with all the freshmen, and they're like, here you go, and then they, they called me mom, because I was like, don't swear, and I brought muffins and stuff, I didn't bring muffins, but I brought cookies and brownies, so, <laughs> anyway, moving forward, <laughs> and then over this past year, I learned that whenever I intentionally or unintentionally try to compete with Jimmy, it does not, just like when I was a kid, it, it goes it, both ways, yeah, just, that we're clear. It's competition in real life is not a healthy behavior. At least not, I don't know, not when you're pioneering. Um, so, but whenever I try to just do me in tandem, is that the right word? With you doing your thing. And vice versa. Yeah. I do a tandem with you. It flows. It does. Beautifully. Beautifully. So. If there were not 8 billion people on the planet... Maybe we should compete for resources, but realistically, I mean, like, uh, stay in your lane. So I used to say day one. I used to say to people, day one, stay in your lane. There's a reason I'm successful here and you're not. It's my passion. It's not, I, I, I'm not, the only reason I'm better at it is because it's my passion. That's not me showing an over exuberance of pride. It's letting you know I'm made for this. You might want something that's not good for you. Like, they're, like, everybody's made for something different. And just because I'm made for this doesn't make me better than anybody or special or whatever. You know, like in our country, between gold, God, and glory, glory is definitely far higher of importance than gold and God right now. Um, and so I think when people see someone with the ability to gain glory, either vain glory, you know, like positive or negative, they get very jealous and start making, like, life choices based around that person. I mean, I had someone that uh, Caitlin knows that he bought like an $80,000 truck and a giant trailer, you know, and we're pretty sure that he did it in like compensation and in a belief that, you know, some false reality was going to turn out the way that they wanted it to. And, you know, making major life decisions on trying to have something that belongs to someone else. Um, and the biggest thing I told them, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you really want this, uh, first off, more than likely you have no idea what it costs. You may. You may have already gone through that fire, and now you're, you know, maybe looking to mentor somebody or um, whatever it might be. Uh, but it costs – look look at my name online. Um, it doesn't start that way for everybody, but if you're like me where the learning curve is a lot higher than you thought, you might find out the hard way. Um, most people do quit. Um, you'll find out if it's your passion, whether or not you survive through that fire. And I do mean that. Like, it's people don't take it seriously. They're like, oh, I found out. You reach a certain point, you don't want to turn back. You don't turn back. Whether plumbing, electrical, social media, uh, teaching, HR, everybody has their, like, number one passion. Like, it's at their soul, their core. Whatever that might be, live that. But do not ever look at, like, if you ever look at somebody else and their passion and the way they live, and I've done it myself, and try to 
uh, I say, uh, look down on them or up at them, you're officially off about yourself because we're just, we're all in different lanes in life. And my job is to entertain you. I'm not, you know, I'm not an object, but it can be very hard for people to look at us and know who we are because you see us on a screen while we're also live. It's a trick of the brain. It's a trick of the brain. It's, it's very, very difficult, you know, um, but we're not the ones inventing a deception or just utilizing the tools it may be. And it's very important to understand that you don't see who we are. You see a portion of our reality, the way that we live in 2D, nonetheless. Um, so we ask you to be patient with your interpretation of what's going on. And, uh, Thoughts? Yeah. Thanks, Angel. No, I want to answer. That's a question for me, Kate. I have the right to answer that if I so please. Okay. I have a feeling that you think that I should not. I'm That's not, Katie, you. not. I know it is. I'm asking your opinion. I don't think you should. Okay, yes. can I ask why? Because. I know why, but I forgot because I believed everybody else for so long. Remind me of sanity. Because it's like, I know I know it, but I, my brain is literally washed that I just want to, like, ignore reality. It's unhealthy. You, I got that piece. You have to stay talking about you and when you're talking about other people. And you know what immediately comes to my mind? What? Brainwash, brainwash, brainwash. Jimmy, you're selfish, 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 selfish comments 18 hours a day, three years straight, and then people turn around and say that I'm acting like a victim. I'm a victim of brainwashing on like a biblical scale. Thank God it happened. They literally wipe my brain clear and I'm the one that gets to put in what I want. They weren't expecting that piece. Everybody thought I would just subscribe to their beliefs about me. I win. Welcome to Feed Peace. I may have to pay very, very heavily. Okay. Way worth the price. All right. You're up. Is that her sweater? Yeah, we said shirts. Have you swapped shirts? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for granted. Yeah, yeah, we do. Guys, guy, and I also want to say thank you very much for like stomaching me being this way. I mean it. Your tolerance or acceptance it means a lot to me. I'm done. I'm shutting up. Okay. Well, I mean, for a moment, are you? I'm good. Oh, I'm 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 shot. Are you? You got this yeah. for a minute till I recoup. Mm -hmm. Wishing you both nothing but great things in life. Thank you, Lady Aspen. Thank you. Life itself is a learning lesson, which means we'll always be in learning mode. Yeah, <laughs> I've learned that it's never going to end. And because we keep exposing ourselves to like new things every day, or at least online, it's like we are learning and growing so exponentially every day. It's a fantastic experience. And I, the thing is, I know I was going to be a teacher, which doesn't quite make sense what I'm about to say, but I, I was thinking in my head before I met Jimmy, I want a career where I ha I don't have to keep going back to college or keep learning new things. I just want to have, be able to go, to go get my skill, go do what I want to do. And then, but like now thinking about that for me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I will be so bored the rest of my life. But there are careers and whatnot where things are constantly changing for me. Yeah, so where I am, my, my headspace now is I want to constantly be learning new things. Whereas before I was like, I just want to learn something and then it'll never change. But now I'm grateful that things change. Um, you sure on top of trending now. Oh, thanks for letting us know. Sweet. Did you ever think that uh, we all come from dysfunctional families? Why blame them? Okay, so do you want to take that? Off? I really do. Okay. It's not giving them full blame. 
but it's definitely not walking away, letting them walk away unscathed after being, you know, abusive or controlling. Um, it's realizing that Gen X and baby boomers were insensitive and were taught to be insensitive and were conditioned to be insensitive. Or too sensitive. No, insensitive. Okay. I'll, insensitive. I'll, I'll Trust me. It is the generations after the millennials that are overly sensitive. Hello. <laughs> I have learned that. All right? It's not like the millennials have the answer, but I'm finding that the generations between the children, or I'm sorry, the generations between the grandchildren and the great-grandchildren, uh, the, the gen- how do I say this? The children should help to connect the parents and the grandparents with the children and the grandchildren. Or I'm sorry, the, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren. I'm, I'm making my best to, you know, form this metaphor in a way that it makes sense. I'm not going to do it successfully. So let's leave it at that. All I'm going to say is, a gen- wherever my generation is, we'll pass that torch on to Caitlin. Or on to Caitlin's generation um, to go ahead and help my generation and the Gen Xers to understand the ones below them. It's so weird There's that we're from different generations. Yeah. Even though we're only six years apart, six, five and a half, six years apart. Yeah. But we're technically <clears throat> from different generations, which is very strange. Yeah. Uh, anyway. uh, sensitivity is something that was ignored during World War II and World War One, And uh, we're coming to a point where, I don't know, sensitivity matters right now. Yeah if we're going to bridge that gap between generations and not get lost in translation. And I mean, we do all have dysfunctional families, but for me, if we can't look at how we were dysfunctional, then at least for me, if I can't see how my family was dysfunctional, how I was dysfunctional within my family and how others were dysfunctional towards me, how can I ever work towards having a better functioning family moving forward? It's just self-awareness. Yeah. It's huge. And sometimes being aware of yourself is being aware of your environment and the ways you've been affected by it. Um, and depending on how much you've been affected, how you're affected, and what your temperament is, you may become reactive. Uh, that was me. Is I was suppressed as a child because I always thought I was a scared little quiet kid. And that's what my family saw. This is not my personality. Clearly, <laughs> I was not myself as a kid because I was suppressed. I was beaten by my, my cousins. So, duh, 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 duh. Like, it just, it, my upbringing was a pretty regular upbringing as compared to most people. I get that. But thank God it wasn't my biological family. Because if it was, I'd be, you know, bound to them right now. Thank God I wasn't born to them. Because then my blood, you know, my, my biology, I'd be running back to them. Whereas now, I learned the best that I could, and I'm like Aladdin over here, you know? <laughs> um, and everyone's pissed about it. But, you know, God has his day. And the honest man wins. So that's how life works. God is good. It's just everyone else wants to be a hero of my narrative or of hers. So it's no hero here. It's just honest people doing their best, including the people from our past did their best, but it wasn't good enough. And we, we have the right to decide that and do better for ourselves. So and I'm learning to not let that be at the cost of anyone else because that was never my intention. Still not. I'm sorry. I'm How long? Oh, sorry. Okay. How long have you two been together? That's been about a year and a half now. In regular people time. Yeah, so that's, it feels like um, it's, it, maybe it feels like a decade. I don't know. How you feel. We accomplish a lot in a day, guys. There, there's a lot. Like one day for us is like a week of someone else's time, of the average person's time. I used to talk about this kind of stuff on live stream a long time ago, but then a lot of people got really insulted. And they were like, well, do you think you're better? No, I just, I don't know. The days are long. The days are long. It's that simple. The only one that will judge you is God. No one else has that right. I agree. They have the right to try. Yeah. If you're looking at the looking for a positive male role model, you should watch West. What? Thank you. I screenshot of that. John says, I'll be your Bill Gates. 
all right, you show me your $20 million mansion and your, uh, your charity about that conversation. Is this a Dr. Spock shirt? <laughs> I was thinking about that when I was Is that like, a thing? I, was laying, not, I don't know about Dr. Spock, but I'm, I was laying it down over there, and I was looking over you, and I was, I, like, I was like squinting a little bit because I had something in my eye, and I was falling asleep, and I looked at you, and it, like, this word, so it wasn't the Under Armour, it looked like the, because of how it is, it looked like you're from Star Trek, so. And my phaser. How it goes? It goes good. It's okay. That's my truth. Um, what if you won at competitions? What do you mean? You like golf? I uh, no no no. I like this one. Uh, I, I'm I my I'm gonna venture to guess that the reference is because we we both probably weren't all that good at things that were competitive. Because uh, <laughs> that's somebody that's good at competitions. That would you know what I mean? What if you're what if you won competitions? for people who may assume that we feel that way because we didn't win competitions. Um, I think competition is healthy when competition is the goal, um, you know, to win something, uh, but for what, for what purpose and what is it, what does that competition cost? You know, is it costing lives? Is it costing feelings? Is it, you know, what, what price are we willing to put on that head? Um, if the goal is entertainment, such as you know mainstream sports then absolutely i mean at least that's what i support um but when it comes to live streaming and stuff when people try to compete with one another just in my particular experience it's very unhealthy because you're competing with one another's lives for the sake of a pay- usually for the sake of a paycheck um and that's sick you know um it's taking a tool and like i said on youtube it's, it's like taking a hammer and instead of using it to hammer a nail you're just smashing people's skulls in and I mean, that's sick and depraved. And, you know, that's pretty much what's been done to me for the past five years. Um, and then I accidentally, and even just today, like, I'm so stupid. Like, I'm sitting here thinking I'm doing doing something good for myself. And really, I'm just, like, hurting other people. And I'm not even, it's like I'm so delusional. I didn't even realize I did it till I did it. Um, and it's just fear and regret. Like, if you guys knew, like, how delusion happens, I'm telling you, I am right about me. But it's like, I feel so unheard that I'm like starting to just, I would just, I would just like mow people under the bus for it. And I didn't even mean to. So I'm learning to let that go and just move on. And the only reason it ever happened to begin with was because I wouldn't let go of the fact that other people were doing it to me. I just have to like, who cares? And I'm finally over them. Finally over them, moving on. And yet I'm still sitting here talking crap on the people I love. Well, aren't I the fool? You know, like I'm learning my lesson. Like it's over. I'm done with their crap. And the people who love me are not going to give me more crap if I just shut my mouth and do my job and prove to them. Cause I shouldn't, the only reason I have to prove anything to them is because they don't understand how this works. And I spent the past five years saying that I could do it. I can do it. Where's my results. Right? So these next three or four months are really going to prove to people that I mean, what I say, it's the truth. And Everything's going to be okay. And now that those people are out of the picture, you know, I'm sure they'll take, make one last bout to try and pretend they exist, but they don't. I'm good. And maybe they'll drag me to court. Maybe they'll give me crap, but realistically they don't exist to me. And the only reason that they're ever going to like stroke their own egos or stroke their dicks for the sake of their own existence is because I ever let them into my environment, you know? So we're going to, we're going to focus on ourselves and stay positive positive. And realize that hearts with screenshots is pretty much just people trying to get me to keep talking. And um, it's like, Katie, I'm, I'm exposing psychological manipulation. It's not paranoia. No, no, I wasn't saying it's this, paranoia. I was, all right, I was so like we, street, we see the hearts with screenshots, yeah. right? All right, well, I'm going to let you guys know, this crap has been done to me for years. I'm finally just admitting to myself that these deceptive people knew what they were doing better than I did. And I got duped. And they, like, I just have to admit to myself that there are human beings out there willing to kill me to make, like, social security on the internet that gets them attention. Like a social, like a, like a social security's worth of a paycheck on the internet that also gets them attention and friends. 
like literally willing to suffocate and destroy another human's life over that. And like, I'm going to need a minute to process that because that's not who I am. And like my own family has been manipulated and gaslit into believing that that might be who I am. What the, f you okay? Nice fart. Like, you gonna fart? I thought you farted. You're lying. It was a cute fart. It was a cute fart. That's fart. I did not feel it. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. I felt it. It was cute though. Oh, it was cute. <laughs> um. Yeah. I just, as I sit here, my mind is so blown that this happened. And I mean, everybody said if you would have just let it go, everything would have been fine. Should have let it go. But I was uh, engineered to compete. So, fight for resources when they're all available to me. I'm the one with the skill. But I'm not the guy that's good at a game of deception, ironically. So don't convince yourself otherwise, because it's very clear that I'm not good at deception. Never been. So. Fuck me. Not a victim. Just naive. Life destroyed by a bunch of psychopaths. Moving on. Finally moving on. <sighs> uh, Simon. Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is a great story. There is such thing as healthy competition. I agree. I've Absolutely. just never been good at it. Uh, I was not taught healthy competition growing up. We all have our own purpose in life. Yes, I agree, Angel. What is your definition of successful? That's uh, Ashley. That's actually kind of funny because I gave a whole speech on that during graduation. So I believe there's lots of ways to be successful. And now for me, being successful means having a good, well-rounded life, having enough resources, having um, people you love, having um, – like a passion or, uh, you know, like your purpose, like having a good, well-rounded life. And so that's, that's to me what successful means. Whereas before, when I talked about it at graduation, I kind of talked about it as successful in different aspects. And in my head, I was thinking that I was basically going to choose one or another aspect to be successful in. I wanted to be successful in a family and the idea of being successful monetarily or being successful having what I needed and emotionally healthy, unfortunately were not part of my ideas of success. Now, being emotionally healthy and having enough resources and having a good family and having what I want to do in my life and not just having a family. Um, you just called me good family. I love you. I love you too. At least I'm assuming you did. Um, our, that's part of what I, so for me, it's having a well-rounded life. That, that's, what I, that, that's what I believe is successful. So. I'm looking at you because there's someone trying to fuck up my life again and I'm not paranoid about it. I'm just learning really to let it go and not even look. I'll look at you instead. They'll have to pay to see my face because one little one little person cannot get over themselves. They gotta they gotta stick the gum under the table in class. So guess what? No one chews it. I'm not bubble gum. Grow up. Human being. Human being. I will hide. And I will be here with Kate and I'll get to look at Kate. And it's free for me, and it costs you time and money. I love you. I love you, too. And that is not to any of the good people, okay? I apologize if you just received something you shouldn't have. I'm not a jerk. I'm just very hurt. Um, you sound exactly like Chris Hansen from... Oh, okay. Uh, Kate and Jimmy, wave, wave. Hi, Jackson. 
so I'm like, hi, Bubba. Just always be true to yourself. Yes, that's something that I've definitely learned to be. I thought I was being true to myself in the past, but I knew deep down I wasn't. So now I am learning to be me. <laughs> that's wonderful. And guys, I also want to say for the amount of progress I've made, think of it this way. The person who has to, you know, do the yellow hearts and little screenshots and whatever. Think about how much progress I've made that every one of the pussies who are afraid to look me in the face for five seconds, they're all hiding now. They're all hiding now. And they have to screenshot and get a little heart. They lost. Yes! They think they've won, guys. And something may happen to me, but you know what? That's okay. Because in the long run, I am okay. I made it through that fire. I made it. I made it. And even if they got a little chunk out of me, that's all they got. And that's all they're going to get for the rest of their lives. They will never get more. And they are going to destroy themselves for the rest of their lives. Because the high that they got from abusing me, they will never get it again. The high of control that they got from abusing and trying to control me, they will never get it again. And they will more than likely spend the rest of their lives looking for round two, either from me or somebody else, and they will never get it. Trust me, they won't, because nobody's going to be as dumb as I was. They're not going to be. That person will either quit or end up killing the person, like going to their real house, because it's, you know, you can't, that kind of behavior, usually you don't get away with it uh, one way or the other. The only reason they got away with it with me is because I'm smart enough to realize that the way I make it on the other side is by staying honest and staying focused. And my focus have, it may, have been got, may have been lost for a while, um, but it wasn't completely gone. You know, I kept my core focused and now I'm getting back on track. And, you know, the most they're going to do is be inexistent in my broadcast because they're afraid of me and V2 screenshot and give it hard. You know what I mean? And those of you who are familiar with the platform, you know it's not paranoia. You know what people do. Um, and if you don't know what people do, good. Just realize they do it. And I'm the one that knows because I've spent, you know, all this time, year over year doing it. Um, I don't know what kind of, I don't know what hellhole that my sister crawled out of. Like, I don't know what the deal is with her. Um, but I'm an honest man. And even if uh, my life goes, doesn't go past middle class, at least I have my sanity. I prefer sanity over a gigantic paycheck. I'll take it. So, just me. I'd, I'd rather have people perceive that I'm insane than actually be insane. My take on life? I agree with that take on life. You have the whole world at your fingertips. Go for it. Thank you, Bobo. Speaking of washed, have you both washed your hands recently? I think I washed them yesterday. No. I'm just going to be straight, on, uh, straight up honest. No. We don't have to explain. Just say no. There are certain ways where we're not fully responsible, but we are human beings and perfection is not, is not appropriate to expect of us. And I bet everyone's okay with that. They're not going to criticize us. They just want our honesty. And the, trust me when I say I was honest. I said I watched him yesterday. But that's a poly... Mm, I don't like you. I love you, but I don't like you sometimes because you're such a politician. You're such a politician. Oh. I love you. You're driving nuts. Oh, my God. She's too smart for her own good. I just worry about you. That's probably... You probably have the better answer. But, like, I'm so afraid of that. And I, with some, with you, I'm learning that, like, sometimes I have to be... But I don't actually know. I don't know. Just, but I, I want you to... That's the best policy. <laughs> that's all I know. But that, 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 is a, that is a very accurate way to use honesty. <laughs> but it scares me. It freaks me out when she does that. Because I'm like, what about when she does it with me? I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know. You guys don't know what she's capable of. Look at what she just did there, right? Like, and after everything that's been done to me, can't you imagine why I'm paranoid about her? Yeah, I she's know. good. She knows what she's doing. Her daddy taught her well. <laughs> Guys, I am not the controller here. I hope that little thing right there just showed you. That's, she's been doing that with me for a year and a half. I'm telling you, she made me feel nuts. Worse than everyone else did. 
Oh. I did not mean to conceal nuts, but that is that is what I did. And I feel really bad about it. So. <sighs> Don't let the comments influence you. Yep. It's like almost impossible. She could, maybe you can block it out, but I'm oversensitive. I'm oversensitive. Brian, no. I have not heard them. Hey, no, don't worry. The handout thing ends in about three months. The only reason we were willing to do it again is just out of uh, necessity. I, we're finally just bucking up. We're, like I said, if you notice, the videos are... Now, on YouTube, I made some of the videos private from when we were living with my mom. Just because, like, I got to let that go. We'll let them be private for a month, and we'll, then we'll get rid of them. But as long as nobody steps back into our life and ruins it, we're just going to leave stuff up and just keep living our life. and um, You know, but just stuff from that past. It, for, for, I want you to understand, guys, it, I had to move on from all that. Like, I could not leave that up like that because it's, it's my mom. It's like, it's my mom. I mean, everything after this, whatever mistakes I make, stupid things I say, like those videos, they can stay up. You know what I mean? And I do, I do want to take them down later, uh, the things where I'm talking about my family and whatnot. But slowly but surely, we're refocusing on our life. And we are, we are, it may not, it may seem like it's not happening fast enough, guys. Like, why? We don't see the immediate results. You don't understand the amount of trauma I've experienced. It's going to take time for this to get better. People, well, no, we would rather just shut it down. Well, too bad. It's not your prerogative. It's my life. The trauma happens. It's going to take time to work through. It's staying up there. And I'm opening my mouth. It's my life. And I'm not going to let other people gaslight me into believing that just because their feelings are hurt, that it's okay for me to end my life. I'm moving on day by day. It's better, but day by day, any, any content that has to do with people outside of our life, it will be eventually removed because that is a healthy and responsible thing to do. But we will happily make a little money on my trauma while I work through it because we need the income and only because we need the income. And after we don't need it anymore, we get rid of it. Unlike other people, who will hold on to unhealthy things and keep splattering it out there for the sake of their own name or their, or their paycheck. So we're going to focus on the positive moving forward. It's really good stuff. It's a better day by day. Thanks. Speaks again after saying who would let Kate speak. Gracie, well, I will say. Hey Katie, is that what? you don't have to defend me. Okay. You don't have to. I love you. There's no job in the world where you don't have to change. Everything continues it needs to, change. to change. Well, it's true. I didn't really. I was very sheltered. And I did not know these things. <laughs> you were controlled. You were not sheltered. I was sheltered. I'm starting to see that. You had friends, quote unquote. I mean, I, you yeah. had a semi regular life. Yeah. But it's like on the inside, you were so programmed. And you only, when you went out, you only saw the world one way. No matter who you dealt with, you only saw it the way that your dad told you to see it. And your mom. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I did it again? No, no, I did it again. Yeah. Did it again. I don't want to control her narrative, guys. What do you want to do for the people you love? I'm upset. And instead of focusing on my own pain, I'm projecting, right? Focusing on her pain. Codependency. It's unhealthy. Refocusing. But then I'm like, oh, I got so much pain. Can we just like end this? Is that, I mean, can we do that? And I don't mean the broadcast. I just mean like everything, you know, whatever. But I'm not, you know, I'm good emotionally. I'm okay. But, you know, people screenshot over to go. This is what. Can I take a deep breath? I do. I'm just like, how did the world get like this? What happened? Like, what happened to humanity? I don't know. I don't want to know. I think we're just overpopulated. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I just want a safe bunker while everybody kills each other. I just want to go away. You just do whatever you got to do. You do whatever you got to do. We just don't want to be involved. We don't want to be involved. Do you feel all baby boomers are like that or only the ones you have met? Probably just the ones I've met for the most part. And I also think that I've had a bias um, because of the ones that I've met that has caused me to blanket over other ones that I've met and like miss out 
maybe if they had, did have something to offer. A lot of assumptions. The wardrobe? Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, did the cousins ever acknowledge an apology? Oh, no, absolutely not. Ask their, do you want to talk about psychosis? No, never. We're, we're talking about an extremely, extremely unhealthy family who married their own cousins. So, no. Um, and no, I wasn't involved in that. What's up, Slonky? Hi. Don't sweat a cake. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. People are weird. Katie, I'm letting you know this is how much people hate success. No joke. This is how angry they get when they see other people happy. Like they come out from the depths and the bowels of the internet when they see other people happy. We will drag you into the past that we created. <laughs> nah, we'll move on. Um, I don't understand that one. People screenshot Charlene too. Okay. Hey guys, we have 50 people in our room. You want us, hey, if you don't want to be positive, we'll focus on the only positive things we have. We have each other. You lose. We have each other. You lose. You want to lose, you lose. You want it thrown back at you, it will be thrown back at you. And I do not regret it anymore. We do not feel bad. We're not bad people. We are not insensitive. You are extremely insensitive. We are defending ourselves and setting a good example for people who are sensitive like us and are being attacked. When you are attacked, defend yourself with words carefully. All right? You have lost. We are in a very positive, happy relationship. You have lost. We have a full income on YouTube, and in three months, we will never have to focus on you ever again. Within six months, we'll be able to pay someone else to sort through our comments so we never hear your voice again. And number four, to those of you that this does not apply to, thank you for your patience as we get to a healthy place and get away from all the unhealthy and insane people who uh, unfortunately have very unhealthy lives. And, I mean, we don't have the ability to change them. We don't have the ability to control them. Um, but we also should not be subject to this level of abuse. So we're going to focus on ourselves. We're going to double down on our strengths. We're going to sort through the, for the BS. Well, we get ourselves on track and we make an income. Thank you for appreciating that you're getting this content for free. You're welcome. You're welcome. Because this is our life on the line. And I hope you see it's not pretentiousness. Guys, look at the way we're being talked to. It's not nice. And we're doing it for free. Yeah. Would you do this for free? If you would. Well, if you would, then you're like us. If you would, then you're like us. You care enough to actually give it a shot and keep putting yourself out there for people. But what we're learning is something that Ty Lopez taught me, is that if you give it for free, people will never appreciate it. Um, so, guys, we'll talk to you when we're making money on here. And until then, you'll only see us where we're monetized. And you can blame all the gum chewers and the people who didn't pay attention to class. The irony is, neither did I. Uh, we love you, and we'll see you on YouTube. Talk soon.